And all I said to him was, somebody buy my baby daddy mixtape. What's up? What's up? Welcome back to the vlog. So, y'all, this is about to be a vlog vlog, like a day in a life vlog type. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in like forever. I've been talking to y'all, but we really ain't like chopped it up for real. Like, not for real, for real. So, y'all, I might be having more time to like talk to y'all. <laughs> I might be having a lot of time on my hands to get a lot of content out, so we shall see. Anyways, I'm getting ready to go to the hair store. Y'all want to go to the hair store with me? Yeah, let's go to the hair store. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to go to this first hair store and see what they get. Y'all, so, ooh, all this booty about to knock this over. Um, I'm here because I need to get some beads to do baby Rosie's hair. Like, her hair really needs to be done. I'm going to get her some cute beads. And I want to try that edge control, that um, one that Sweetie collabed with Kiss with. I want to give it a try. It's supposed to be, like, maximum hold. I'm not even, I don't really even care about it being maximum hold. I'm mostly excited that it has all these different um, smells. Like one of them smells like banana. Another one smells like lychee. Um, there's a watermelon one. It's like all these different smells, which I think is a cute touch along with the packaging. So let's see what kind of bees they got. Cause I need to get in and out of here, get home, do this girl's hair, all that. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so they did not have, they didn't even have what I needed in there. So I'm about to um, go to another hair store and see if they have. Okay, y'all, man, everybody wants you to wear a mask. Okay. So. I came across the street to the second hair store okay, to see what they have. Oh yeah, my bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got some gold beads, but trimmer like these. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I've gotten the beads that I think I'm gonna get. I got some beads, but dang, you can't even try on the wigs. Not that I want to. Actually, this one is real cute, y'all. Look at these wigs they got. Y'all, these would be real cute with a nice pedicure, though. No cap, like, for real. Ooh, they uncomfortable. They hard. Okay, y'all. I got, um... I got a couple of beads for the baby. They was ratchet in that store. I'm about to go into this little store right here and get something to eat. If y'all from Cleveland, y'all already know. No shoes, no shirt, no mask, no service. Ugh. Wait a minute, y'all. Y'all got to see they sign. They tripping. Wait a minute. My phone is not messed up. I'm vlogging. Oh, okay. What size would you like? I'm going to get a small corned beef sandwich. Small? And you want mustard and Swiss on that? Mustard and Swiss. I wanted the way that we do in Cleveland. How's that? The way you just said. I got you. 
Okay. Make it fat. Make it small fat. And some fries, please. Straight or curly? Straight or curly? Straight. I'm like, what? We're talking about hair here? You want next door? Yeah. What no. size fry? Small? Yeah, give me a small fry. So, you want to tell my. You know what? These oh, it's okay. I'm talking about the food. Corn okay. beef, corn beef sandwiches is a Cleveland thing, right? Yeah. yeah that's what else? Um, Polish boys is a Cleveland thing. Yeah, I guess. You gotta be from the uh, land. Yeah, you gotta know. teach me what a Cleveland thing is. Okay, five, four, six, yeah, stuff seven. that people from Cleveland eat. Pizza. I just moved back up here from Atlanta, and there's no Polish boys in Atlanta. We have Polish and, boys here. And it's, I know it's Polish boys here, because that's a Cleveland thing. Atlanta does a, Atlanta fucks with chicken wings. That's about chicken it. wing, boy, y'all. Where I let me get a ten piece lemon pepper, yep. Mayo. That's about it. That's about it. How you know? Hey y'all. So I am. Y'all, the hair store did not have the edge control that I was looking for. And they didn't have what I was looking for for my hair. Because I blow dried my hair earlier this week. But I needed to get this um, heat protectant that I like to use. And they didn't have it because I wanted to go ahead and flat iron my hair. Because y'all can see it's like puffy. It's just, I washed it and blow dried it. So I'm like, I just came home and I'm about to get wet with the baby. I let her, um, I got this little water thing that... Hi, royalty. Hi. You getting wet? So, I have this. Yeah, this was sent to her from Amazon for review. If you're interested in being an Amazon reviewer, um, the video will be linked right here. But, yeah, y'all. I'm about to get wet with her. I normally let her get wet in the front yard, but, y'all, I'm deciding to get wet with her. So, yep, I'm about to get in here with her. Yeah, so I'm about to get wet with her and I put on my swimsuit. So I'm like, let me go in the backyard because I am not trying to have these little boys in the neighborhood. Like, hi, Miss Paul. Hi, boys. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm about to have some fun with baby royalty right quick. Y'all, I'm about to let Rosie play in that water because it is cold. But, yeah, let me tell y'all what happened, okay? Let me tell y'all what happened. So, this is the story. This is what happened, all right? I was at work. So, we got a gay, we got this gay guy at work, okay? And one day he came in with, like, an attitude. Like, he was, like, real in his feelings. So, I said to him, like... You acting, all I said to him was, you're acting like you need some dick, okay? After I said that, you know, we all hee hee ha ha, we laughed about it and went back to our offices and did our work and stuff. So, I'm just sitting there, I'm chilling. Next thing I know, my friend from HR comes to me and is like, um, 
Valerie, we we need to see you in the office for a minute. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. So I go to the office like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get a raise. What? I need to sign some paperwork. What? So I get in the office, come to find out. Like, she like, did you did you tell somebody that they needed some d I was like, um, what? She was like, yeah, did you say that to somebody? I'm like, who told you that? So... I already know who told her, but I'm like, dang, he told you I said that? I thought we was better than that. Like, I know we won friends. We don't hang out or nothing, but dang, bruh, I thought we was better than that. I thought we could joke around. Like, so I'm sitting there listening to her go over the guidelines and stuff of, like, sexual harassment and all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, I didn't sexually harass him. I don't know how that could be sexual harassment. And she's like, are you aware of that and all this other stuff? So I'm sitting there listening to her or whatever. Next thing you know, she gets done talking and asks me, um can i sign some paperwork so i'm like what am what is it that i'm signing like what am i signing because you know i thought that we could joke with him like that there's nothing that i wouldn't say to any of my other female co-workers i was just joking with him he laughed about it and i don't know why he didn't come to me if he thought that was offensive why didn't he come and say anything to me but y'all and then i told her like because i had this i told her like you know what i'm saying i thought this company was like a equal opportunity employer like you know i was trying to make him feel comfortable make him feel like one of us you know what i'm saying make him be a part of the crew but obviously he took it the wrong way and he went and told on me and i don't know if it's because i'm black like you know now it's a racial thing now i feel like this is a racial thing this guy is prejudiced because i don't know like you guys that's why i told her like this is a racial thing and this company i started working at this company y'all i had to pull up the whole mission statement i was like i started working here because of your mission statement is all inclusive you guys you know what i'm saying i had to bring that up and i was like and now i'm feeling excluded because i'm black and anyway so i went back to my desk and then you know um uh, my office or whatever and at this point, you know, they will let me know when I can come back to work. Um, but, yeah, y'all. So, I am about to be basically chilling. But at this point, like, I don't understand. Y'all let me know. Y'all, so, on another note, did y'all hear that Joel and Lauren is starting to OnlyFans? Something like DDG. They supposed to be teaching everybody how to blow up on um, YouTube. Y'all, I might go ahead and I might buy it and review it and see if they got anything that's um, some good content. Because at this point, everybody's starting to OnlyFans selling free information. But I'm about to go in there and see what they OnlyFans is about. It's already started, probably like a few days old. I'm about to go in there and see before. Or I might just wait till somebody leak their OnlyFans <laughs> and start calling their stuff a scam too. But um, if y'all want me to make a video on that, I probably will. If y'all wonder if y'all don't want me to, I'm still gonna make a video. If I feel like making a video, I will. But like at this point, if y'all selling information on OnlyFans, y'all might as well buy my baby daddy mixtape. Like what? Y'all wasting money like that? Somebody buy my baby daddy mixtape. The fuck? <laughs>